tricks and combines. And my favorite part. Okay, we're gonna have to figure out what's going on. So I'm just gonna go around the perimeter, just make sure the fence is all right. Everybody still looks good. <laughs> just kind of do an overview. They are very enticed with this dirt. This will be the last time we see the cows for a few days. I don't think I even have a jacket with me. Um, no, it'll be all right. We'll just walk fast. Hello, babies. You seen us put this gate in a couple of weeks ago, maybe? Maybe not even that long. It's probably in one of the videos. Hello. Hi, babies. Hi, sweetie. Hi, mom. I love you too. Yes, I do. You're a good mama. It's so pretty over here. So pretty. Okay, we're just gonna walk the fence line. These are timeless posts. Regular T posts. However, guess what? They're missing insulators. So the fence is hot here, but not hot on top. Hello, babies. They're probably gonna follow me all over. Hi, mamas. These are some of our new girls. This is actually, she's actually a 10 year old cow. She looks pretty good for that age. Courageous baby. Lucy! He told me to walk the perimeter, but we'll do that in a minute because I just want to see my girls. Hi, Lous. Can you tell everybody else hi? Hi, baby. Aww. Yeah. Is that good grass? You got cockerbors in your hair. Oh, did you do? Okay, I had a job to do. So we're gonna go walk this fence line. Just make sure everything looks okay. They're probably going to follow. Anyway, this fence looks super, super nice over here. It just uh, butts up right across the road from ours. It's not quite done. There'll essentially be four paddocks over here, but right now they've just kind of got access, I think, to both sides of this one paddock. Come on, girls! They'll probably just follow us around. There's plenty of grass out here. We, uh, we have not put anything here all year. Uh, we attained it earlier this, this spring. Oh, there is fence here, so they can't go across here. I see what they did. There's not a gate here. It's just intertwined and they're connected. But our water lines were put in. Kind of see where they did that over there. I wasn't part of helping get the fence in. I had some sick babies at home, so Jason and his cousins, I think his dad, got this all squared away. It's nice when they come up on the weekends. It gives me a little bit of a break. Um, yesterday, I actually prepared lunch. Usually Carol um, is on lunch duty. Bless her heart, she feeds us all the time. Um, that's probably why I can't lose any weight these days. But I cooked for the crew yesterday, and uh, I forget how much I enjoy those kind of things because I just, I don't do it anymore, being on the working side versus being on the other side, so. What do you think, girls? They're just mad because, oh, 
I do have a problem. We have a problem. Big problem. I gotta figure this out. And of course, Jason's not here. Can you guys tell what the problem is yet? <sighs> Shoot. Okay, we're gonna have to figure out what's going on. Okay, girls, we are not moving. We are not moving. Have I? You all have plenty to eat. walk this line as I go. Um, so, we did not have any regular pliers in the truck. We found some needle nose. They will do the job. Both my boys said I should probably just be wearing pliers. <sighs> Keaton is at home sick, so he's not really much use at the moment. Just haven't been feeling good the last several days. Look at the grass though. Come on girls. Woo. I'd really like them to come back over here and drink the tank out. Come on girls. Woo. They're just sort of needy. They're just sort of needy women, right? <sighs> okay. Okay. Okay, so ideally this is not what you want to see, um, but I tried to show you guys the real, the real fun and the real ugly and everything in between. Um, these are new water tanks. We haven't quite got them quite set right yet. We've literally had them, I don't know, a couple weeks, maybe. Um, so we're still tinkering, trying to get them just perfect. It's probably what's happened is the check valve inside there is kind of clogged. So we're going to let the girls drink this water down and then we'll come back and reassess the situation. They're like big puppy dogs and I loved them so much. I just love cows. You guys make me so happy. They do. I just, I, my heart is content and full and just, I am so blessed. Okay, I still have to pack and get everything lined out at home. As much as I want to stand over here and just love on these girls. Because I could, I could stand over here all day long. But you guys are not getting my bags packed and the kids lined out and dinners prepared and everything that I still need to do. I guess I will see you guys in Omaha. Good morning. I thought I was going to be leaving earlier, but I gotta go check on cows real quick before I leave. We had some water issues over there, so I just wanna make sure everybody's okay. I thought you guys, this would, yesterday was the last day you guys would be seeing cows. I was wrong. <laughs> Jason ended up taking a halo this morning, so I am not getting gone quite as early as I anticipated, but that's okay. It's okay. We're all going to a farming thing and farmers know how it is. Um, I don't know what I smeared on my camera lens. The girls look okay. Everybody seems content. Look at the sunrise coming up. Wow, it is beautiful over here today. Beautiful. Those gates look so good. 
so good. I'm gonna quickly just march around the fence line and then um, I gotta get going. So I'm not taking you guys with me. Good morning. I have not been outside, but the sun's not up yet in Omaha. <sighs> I didn't sleep very well, so I just got up and did my normal stuff, edited, did my you know morning routine, and now I'm gonna go find some breakfast, and hopefully some coffee. I'm planning to take you guys with us as much as I can. I ran into several other YouTubers yesterday, but I didn't do any video, and I'm just kind of soaking it up, so. It's gonna be a great day, guys. First of all, to have a normal job, that wouldn't be any fun. And every minute I had when I was little, all I wanted to do was ride with dad and grandpa in tractor, trucks, and combine. Who doesn't love tractors, and trucks, and combines? I think my favorite part of farming is being able to move the herd in less than a minute. And maybe the fact that I get to do it with my best friend every day. Why do I of production? In the global food system. So it's really, really remarkable. So that means many of you are integrated producers. There are nearly 700,000 ranches in the United States, another 80,000 feeders, 40,000 hog farms, 40,000 dairies. There's a tremendous amount of livestock production that exists in the U.S. We want to be able to serve that side of the operation as well as we do on the crop side. There's tremendous create more purchasing flexibility so you can understand feed costs. We've created the first liquid feed store online so you can come in see price quotes every day for liquid. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, how about you? Uh, my name is Brian Evans. I'm a eighth generation, eighth generation farmer in Missouri uh, with my wife and my three kids. Uh, we do row crops, corn, soybean, cattle. We have a uh, farm to fork on the cattle side. We own our own retail store and website. And, uh, we integrate cover crops and no till for beans. And, uh, well, that's kind of fun now. Sounds good. Okay. Looking at the F2F lineup, uh, I got to go and visit the, the breeding station over by Sioux Falls by Brandon. Um, you know, and learn a little bit about, you know, behind the F2F lineup of, of corn genetics. Uh, what FBN has done in terms of, you know, we're all familiar with the network that we're a part of and this exchange of ideas that we're having here and that we're having during this whole conference. Um, but FBN's done something similar on the breeding side with the breeders network. Um, and so they're sharing those hybrids and trying to find different ways. Kind of, well, market, what market you're going to be able to hit. So if you're going more corn or more soybeans, uh, and, and just pricing. Versus ROI on, you know, am I going to go buy this full traded bag for this field and uh, conventional for this field and, you know, just make things work for your farm. Mm -hmm.